What's up guys, it's Joseph the Realtor, and it's another vlog day. She bought me quick and mixing up the different products, kiss your problems under my liquor bottle and gender to make a gender generalize the women that I'm sitting next to whispered, oh my god, I think I seen them on a... Bro, so what are we doing today? Today we're gonna go, um, yesterday I got a phone call, a guy wants to sell his duplex in Orange, New Jersey by the zoo. And um, I went there, I looked at it, and honestly, it's not in good shape. For some reason, I guess the tenants kind of left it in shambles. So I'm meeting my contractor there right now. I got him to agree to meet my contractor. I'm gonna go through what the property needs in order to prepare it for listing, because right now it's not presentable. And I think this, I'm pretty sure this guy wants top dollar, as every seller does. It's a beautiful property. We have to make sure it looks good before we list it. But first, we're gonna grab coffee. Bro, what is this? This is my dream car. This is a 2022 992 Turbo S Cabriolet, custom built, 2020. And it took about two and a half years to come in and I got it. I've been driving it for two years. It's my baby, I love it. This is the key, I just give it to you from the... I've been chasing this key for like two weeks now. Guys, this is Nelson. Nelson is a pretty decent contractor. He's not the best, he's not the worst. <laughs> he's, he did, he's, I met him when I bought my first house. He did the house for me and now he's like my go-to contractor. Nelson, plug your business. Team Nelson. Team Nelson, you changed your name? <laughs> yes. What was the old name? Handyman. Handyman. So this is more That's like a, more serious. Uh, this guy is handyman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I still do handyman for What's your number? A45. 269-8150. Call me if you need help with everything. From little thing to, to big stuff. And everybody that calls Nelson, I get 5%. <laughs> yes, and all, the, and all the work I do at his house. <laughs> yeah. So the owner of this house called me to sell it. It's a beautiful duplex, side by side. Each apartment is huge. It's like five bedrooms, three baths each. And um, it's kind of in shambles. So Nelson's gonna do some work to it before, uh, before we list it to make it presentable. So obviously you don't want to leave the floors in this condition. I don't know what was here or why they're coming up. I can't really tell on camera. Here, let's go outside and I'll show you. This door looks like somebody was trying to break in. It's coming off. See the frame is all damaged. You know? See the back? These are the owner's cars. I'm going to try, try to have him remove them. Yo, so what happened here? Did they start work already or? He hired some, the cheapest contractor he could find, started doing the work, got a stop work order for whatever reason. He's really just doing cosmetic stuff. And I think the guy, they were just, because he lives in England, I think they were just using this house to like sleep here. I mean, like, this is crazy. What contractor does this? Like, the floors you just put down are now ruined. It's crazy. Look at the trim. The way it's cut. Look at that trim right there. Very sloppy work. Also, why is this, see this wall is bulging? Weird. It's weird. Oh, you can definitely see it from this angle, yeah. Weird behavior. What are your thoughts when you see a house like in this condition? Listen, a lot of realtors would just get a listing signed and say, fuck it, let's put it on the market. But I like to squeeze every dollar of equity out of a home and this is not how you do it. I mean, it's bad enough we're in orange and this is a gorgeous property. It's huge. Six bedrooms, four bathrooms each unit. That's crazy, plus a finished basement. And um, it's maybe 15, 20 grand will, will net this seller 100 grand more and also save him a lot more time and energy and how long it's gonna take to sell the property. So, we're here doing it. I'm gonna give him the option. So, upon inspection, I see a letter from the township saying that this property is being illegally rented, currently leasing rooms and operating the property illegally as a boarding house. That's why it's in this condition. Terrible. Dr. Bronner's hand sanitizer. After that house, I think we need that, brother. What's next, Joe? Blech. 
I want in my eye. <laughs> Next, we're going to meet with my buddy for lunch because I'm building my dream house. And I got a crazy ass price for like automation, like lighting automation security. And my buddy like is super tech savvy and he's gonna give me his opinion on it. You're gonna meet him, his name is John, he's great. Let's go. Okay guys, we're at Milburn Deli in Montclair grabbing lunch with, what's up this guys? Is, who are you? My name is John Andrews, I'm a realtor at Prestige, the 50th realtor actually. He's the 50th realtor to join the broker. Yes, sir. When did you join? Uh, a few days ago actually. Congratulations, brother. Thank you, sir. Very happy to be here. And this is my lifelong friend. How are you doing? John Reyes. <laughs> John J O N. J O N. J O H N. He's J O H N. J O H N. J O N. So, how long have you known Joe? Wow. I want to say maybe 15 years? 15? He used to pick me up from years. William Patterson University because I didn't have a car. <laughs> and he used to pick me up, we used to go play pool. Yeah. In Clifton. It's uh it's been a long time since I've known Joe. It's been a long time. Should have left you. <laughs> got you a job at AT and T. He did, he got me my first job. <laughs> I was AT and T first before Verizon. Yeah, you went to you were selling the in the mall. I was selling Fios in a kiosk. Yes. Dude, that's crazy. I was selling files in a kiosk in the show. So you were a salesman from the start. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and then I stole him, took him to AT&T. He was in AT&T for a while. Hopped back to Verizon. Uh -huh. From Verizon, I think after that it was all you, right? And after that it was real. You real too, yeah. It's crazy. All right. Well, we're gonna eat. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> oh, what did you get, bro? I got the J Ray or the J Bird with grilled chicken, baby. Wait it. 10 out of 10 is always. 10 out of 10. Whoa. Joe, what's your rating? <clears throat> it's a 10 out of 10, and this is why. I'll tell you why. They toasted the bread. They didn't toast the whole sandwich. Like, when you go to Subway, you get the sandwich, they toast the whole thing. I don't want my turkey. That's already probably shitty turkey toasted, right? Tomatoes fresh, pickles fresh, lettuce fresh and thin. Look at the amount of turkey. It's not too little, it's not too much. You ever see it when they put like too much turkey? It's ridiculous. You eat a whole turkey? Break your jaw. It's disgusting. You can't even you can't even take a bite. And on top of that, a little bonus, I did coleslaw and mayo. But they put coleslaw on the top and mayo on the bottom. They didn't put it together. And it's those things that make this a ten out of ten. Wow, what, what a review, <laughs> Milburn Deli. What about you, John? It was 10 out of 10. I got a big bird and it's out of control, amazing. Oh, Look at that. Let's go. Yeah. And the result is... Oh, wow. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I booked appointments, bro. I heard your boy's packed. Yeah. I heard you're booked till August. I guess you wonder where I've been. Search to find the love within. We just got done. <laughs> we just got done showing the building behind us. This is my old boss, Dave Siliento. He owns a real estate office in um, Woodridge. Not? Woodridge. See, I forgot. Blocked yeah. it out of my memory. Dave, what was I like when I first got my real estate license? Almost the same, but a little little guy that. Uh, that didn't know anything, and then you're educated because I educated you. You tell me everything I know. And check him out. <laughs> I used to have a little little desk in the corner, little little cubicle. That's what he had. And how, how, um, how hard did I work? How hard? Did no, I no. Work? You worked very hard, and I'm glad to see that you're doing very well for yourself. I, I used to. I used to go. I'm proud of you. Thanks, Dave. I appreciate it. No problem. Um, I used to go to the office. First one there, last one to leave. Always. Pretty much, always, always. Yeah, that's what he always so did. See. All right. Thanks for watching. My friends wonder what is wrong with me.